keys. One, we're gonna make sure your hips travel on a horizontal line. That's the main thing that's gonna differentiate it from the American swing. So we wanna go ahead and go back with the hips, forward with the hips. We're not looking for an elevation change. As far as low back, you're always gonna keep it nice and neutral. So we're not driving any movement through the spine. Everything's being driven through the hips. As far as how far the kettlebell is going to travel, that's based on how much power you're generating through your hips. If I'm not generating much power, the kettlebell shouldn't go anywhere. What you don't want to do is turn this into a shoulder raise or a front raise. As you increase your power, that momentum is what's going to carry the kettlebell up, back down, and then repeat. And there are a couple ways to get into it. Demonstration, you're going to grab on, step back, tilt the bell towards you, and then initiate, and now you can go right into your first repetition. Or you can start standing, and then I think about three reps, you can start to get into producing the power, and that's where I start my rep count. So whether it's starting on the floor or starting standing, it doesn't matter. The key is hips travel on a horizontal line. Make sure you don't change your low back position. You don't lift with your shoulders. The distance the kettlebell goes up is based on the power generated through your hips.